bus driver that gave me a, a guitar when I was like in kindergarten and stuff. And like I was always into like guitar and just kind of like playing with it more as a toy, I guess. Um, but I had a teacher, like I was in this alternate class thing, and uh, it was like uh, first, second, and third grade with three teachers. So I was in it a couple years, and part of the thing was like learning guitar. So I was playing you know, C, G, D chords in second grade and then uh, and I've got an older brother I always credit him for corrupting me because I was listening to you know what the kids in high school were listening to when I was in elementary school you know and then I really got corrupted by you know my big four Randy Rhodes you know, Richie Blackmore, um, Kirk Hammett from Metallica, you know, I love Malmsteen. Those are the cats that I grew up with in high school that were like, I tried to ape all their riffs and tried to do everything, you know. And a big part of my set playing classical guitar at restaurants for people my age is like playing the Ozzy solos and playing Metallica, and, you know, and kind of getting a cool reaction with some other stuff and playing, you know, the, the classical heavyweights, Albanez and Tarega and Via Lobos are the, the main Spanish things I like, but I probably would like, like to play closer to the heart more than anything. solo and duet stuff and uh, you know playing pieces from the Renaissance and the Baroque period and I, was, I really love Bach he's very influential if you look at my composition stuff and, uh, and I can find some, something in all of that but when I write I tend to do something like what Bach would do today you know in a modern sense you know hearing Stravinsky and hearing Schoenberg and some wacky stuff too you know, so about being an artist, filtering in all those things and kind of finding what you like as the, the vehicle for expression. You gotta artistically try different things. And I think with music, it's a little different than like a painter just being like, hey, I'll just do color by number or cubism or, you know, something cool, abstract expressionism, and I'll give it a whirl, you know? And I think you, you kind of let people go through that without like the weight that you might have with the music. 